Have you ever received an email or a phone call that seemed too good to be true? Maybe it promised a huge reward or threatened dire consequences if you didn't act immediately. If so, you may have been the target of a social engineering attack. Social engineering is the art of manipulating people to gain access to sensitive information or to carry out a specific action. And it's not just something that happens to other people. Anyone can be a victim of social engineering. So, how do social engineers do it? They use a variety of psychological tactics to manipulate their victims. Let's take a closer look at some of these tactics. First, there's authority. Social engineers often pretend to be someone in a position of authority, like a bank manager or a police officer. They use this authority to convince their victims to do something they wouldn't normally do. Next, there's urgency. Social engineers create a sense of urgency to make their victims act quickly without thinking. They might say that there's a problem with your account or that you need to act immediately to avoid a penalty. Finally, there's scarcity. Social engineers create a sense of scarcity to make their victims feel like they're missing out on something valuable. They might say that there are only a few spots left in a program or that a sale is ending soon. So, how can you protect yourself from social engineering? First, be skeptical of any unsolicited emails or phone calls. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Second, take your time. Don't let anyone pressure you into making a decision quickly. Take the time to think things through and do your research. Finally, be cautious with your personal information. Don't give out sensitive information like your social security number or bank account details to anyone unless you're absolutely sure that they're trustworthy. Remember, social engineering attacks can happen to anyone. But by being aware of the tactics that social engineers use, you can protect yourself and your information. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more.